Well, uh, first of all, let's all hope that his health recovers uh, for sure. I mean, uh, but his legacy is remarkable. I think it's hard to name any other CEO really in any other industry uh, that's compiled his record over the last 10 or 15 years. And there have been some excellent CEOs in and out of the auto industry. Uh, but when you look at, look at what he did, he, he, he fixed Fiat, which was at death's door when he took over in 2004. Uh, and then he got control of Chrysler in America's automotive bailout, and then uh, uh, turned around Chrysler in time for Chrysler to actually prop up Fiat when the European economy uh, went down. And one of his more remarkable moves came uh, a little less than three years ago when he took public uh, uh, the shares of Ferrari. And since then, Ferrari has actually been the, uh, the top performing automotive stock in the world. Its earnings are surging, and he, he had the, the guts, really, to sharply increase production and develop some new models, go into SUVs, which are due soon, uh, which really uh, took a lot of courage to do that because Ferrari's image has always been, uh, been based on exclusivity. And what Sergio did was basically say, look, we can bring production up a lot more, we can uh, broaden the model range a lot more and still maintain that exclusivity. Right. So he was a very bold man. <laughs> when you think about Mike Manley, and we talked about this in the last hour, does he have the license to, to make the kind of bold decisions that Sergio made historically? Well, I, I think, he, think he'll have to, yes. I mean, you know, the, the times call for it. And look, he's got an incredibly uh, uh, good record, uh, uh, an incredible record leading Jeep and Ram. So he's obviously a, a natural uh, and, and excellent choice for this job. I mean, that said, look, he's filling some very tough shoes. Uh, you know, Alan Mulally did a great job at Ford, but Ford did not fare well after Alan Mulally left uh, a few years ago. Uh, and so, I mean, I'm sure that, that you know, that, that's not necessarily going to repeat itself at Fiat Chrysler, but it's one of those things where, you know, the, the history suggests that really great leaders are hard to follow. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.